WooCommerce has three main types of shipping options, flat rate shipping, free shipping, and local pickup. Let's dive a little bit deeper though. When you install and activate the WooCommerce plugin, you'll fill out a few pages of information to get your account set up. Okay, now that we're here, it's worth mentioning that of course, later on you can make tweaks and add extensions, but for now we're gonna set basic shipping zones, product weight, and dimension parameters. Now I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and right here you'll see shipping zone. And there are actually two shipping zones that are automatically created, United States and everywhere else. Now under shipping method, I could actually choose to make United States shipping zone free shipping and then locations not covered by the other zones, AKA outside of United States, a flat rate of $20. If you'd prefer to offer live rates from a specific carrier, there are extensions you can add, but we're gonna cover that later. Now also on this page, it's going to ask how you wanna measure products. So for instance, you can do ounces, pounds, grams, and kilograms for product weight, or you can do yards, inches, millimeters, centimeters, or meters for product dimensions. So just choose whichever option you prefer. And now we're gonna click continue. Once you're finished with the initial WooCommerce setup, you can go into your settings to set shipping zones, classes, and other options. But real quick, here's the difference between a shipping zone and a shipping class. Shipping zone is shipping based on a customer's shipping address whereas shipping class is shipping based on product type. With that in mind, we're now inside of WooCommerce under the settings area and on the shipping tab. Here, we can actually add more shipping zones. Now, if you're still a little confused as to why you'd wanna create all of these different zones, here is a quick example. Let's say you live in New York and you wanna offer anyone in New York State free shipping. All you would do is create a zone for that. You could also create a zone to allow people to pick up products from a specific New York location. You could also set a $10 flat rate shipping charge for anyone else within United States. If someone from Australia was to place an order, you can set a flat rate shipping cost of $25 simply by creating a zone. And don't worry, you don't need to make a zone for every single place in the world. Luckily, they do have the option called everywhere else not specified in shipping zones. This is where you can set a flat rate of let's say $15, or you could just make it free shipping or whatever the case is. Here's the thing though, if you don't fill out any information in the locations not covered by your other zone section, customers will see that shipping isn't available to their location. And more often than not, you do not wanna miss out on any customers. Which by the way, if you have a certain area that you don't wanna to ship to, you can create a shipping zone, then leave the shipping method blank. This is what our store currently looks like, but let's actually dive a little bit deeper into shipping zones. I'm gonna quickly add one and scroll down and let's add a shipping method. So shipping zones can have their own flat rates and you can create multiple flat rates per zone. So I'm gonna choose flat rate and add shipping method. Simply hover over and click edit. Now the method title is what people will see when they check out. Tax status can be set to taxable or none. And of course, cost is the shipping for the whole cart. However, leaving this field blank will disable flat rate pricing. With that saved, I can actually go in and add another shipping method. So let's do another flat rate. Let's talk a little bit about the cost field. Now here you can actually enter placeholders so that you can charge per item instead of applying the flat rate to the entire purchase. The placeholder QTY charges an additional fee for each product in the cart. So the way we would configure this is something like 10 plus parentheses five times quantity parentheses. What this equation means is that we're gonna charge a flat rate of $10 plus $5 for each item in the cart. Now I'm gonna get rid of this real quick and also tell you about the placeholder fee. This one charges an extra shipping fee based on a percentage of the total. You set a percent and then set a min fee or max fee, which means the fee can't go below or above a certain amount. Let's do a quick example. Let's say your flat rate shipping is $10. Now we're gonna add that to a fee percent of five, and we're gonna set the max fee to 10 and just close the bracket. This means that shipping will cost your base fee of $10 plus 5% of the total cost of purchase without exceeding $10.
pretty simple. Now that we've talked about shipping zones, let's talk about shipping classes. So I'm on the settings page for WooCommerce and I'm on the shipping tab. Now I'm going to go from shipping zones to shipping classes. As we can see, we don't have any created at this time. Creating WooCommerce shipping classes is helpful if your shop has items at different weights and if your customers usually buy one product at a time. You can also use shipping classes to offer different types of shipping on certain products. For instance, you can create free shipping, regular shipping, and rush shipping classes. To add a shipping class, click the button in the bottom right and simply type in the class name. So I'll do rush shipping and I'll just give it a nickname of rush. So now we're just going to click save shipping classes and all three of mine are right here. Now to actually set flat rate costs per shipping class, we're going to have to go back to shipping zones. Now I'm going to choose one of my zones and click edit and scroll down and click edit again. And now under shipping class, here it is our free regular and rush shipping classes. Now here's how we will fill in the cost for each. So let's start with free shipping. It's pretty simple. Zero times quantity, or I mean, you could just type zero. Now for regular shipping, it's basically the same thing, but we're going to do a five this time. And then for rush, we're going to do 10. Now with this setup, if they choose regular shipping, it will just charge $5 per item and rush shipping will do $10 per item. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more, you're going to see calculation type, and there are two different options per class and per order. Class is the shipping class determines the shipping cost and order is the most expensive item in the order determines the shipping cost. So based on your situation, you would choose accordingly. Now with the basics covered, let's talk about WooCommerce shipping extensions. When you select WooCommerce from the left sidebar in WordPress, you can click on extensions. And of course, up here at the top, there is an option for shipping. Every single one of these extensions truly are awesome because they allow you to use different carriers from all around the world, like the Australian Post, FedEx, and the Royal Mail. Furthermore, you can use these extensions to integrate with inventory management and fulfillment services or to offer specialty shipping like buy one, get one, or free gifts. I would assume if you did a quick scroll on this page, you would most likely become extremely overwhelmed. And for that reason, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of the most useful shipping extensions. Per product shipping, WooCommerce distance rate shipping, order delivery, local pickup plus, WooCommerce advanced shipping packages, shipping multiple addresses, postcode address validation, WooCommerce print invoices and packing lists, WooCommerce shipping, shipment tracking. I know there's a lot of information on the screen right now, so you can either choose to pause it or you can save the list by checking out our blog post linked in the video description. Well, yeah, there is a lot here and the more products you have, the trickier shipping can get. But that does come with the territory of running an online shop and selling physical products. Any platform you use, whether it's Etsy, Shopify, WordPress, or something else, it'll have a lot of shipping options and sub options and sub sub options to learn. By rushing through this part of the process, you may pay for shipping out of pocket, or even worse, you could turn off customers because your shipping costs are higher than necessary. Above all, take the time to figure out what works best for your company and your products. Then make sure you're getting everything configured the right way. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.